Will the Senate please come to order? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senator Baker. Senator Chan Oakland. Excused. Senator Dela Cruz. Senator English. Present. Senator Espero. Present. Senator Gabbard. Here. Senator Galuteria. Here. Senator Green. Here. Senator Harimoto. Excused. Senator Ihara. Present. Senator Inoue. Present. Senator Kahele. Present. Senator Keith Agaran. Here. Senator Kidani. Here. Senator Kim. Excused. Senator Nishihara. Senator Riviere, Senator Ruderman, Here. Senator Shimabukuro, Here. Senator Sloan, Here. Senator Taniguchi, Here. Senator Thielen, Here. Senator Tokuda, Here. Sen uh, Senator Wakai, Here. Mr. President. Present. 22 present, three excused. Thank you. The chair has read the journal of the preceding day and approves the same. Are there any introductions this morning? Senator Kidani. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you, Mr. President. We continue with our Education Week program this morning. Many of today's honorees are being recognized for their achievements outside the classroom. Let me call on my colleague, Senator Taniguchi, to introduce our first guest. Senator Taniguchi. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the Voya Award recognizes educators who are inspiring innovation, creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking among their students. In 2015, Raina Fairchild was the recipient of the Teacher Innovator Award. Raina's innovative teaching idea, Let's Make a Makerspace, is focused on building a makerspace to the Waikiki School Library. A makerspace is a specifically designed space where students have the freedom to use their creativity to design original creations of each student's choice. Supplies are at the disposal of the makers to apply their vision as a reality, encouraging students to explore, tinker, and even fail teaching, teaching them the importance of trying. As a winner, she received a week-long innovation immersion experience and participated in a variety of activities, including the including time in the Henry Ford Museum. She returned with the increased vision and enthusiasm to continue to create outstanding learning experiences for her students. Rena won the award in 2015 while she was at Waikiki Elementary School, but she has since moved to Manoa Elementary, and that's why I'm doing the introduction <laughs> today. Um, members, would you please welcome Rena Fairchild? Please rise. Thank you. Thank you. I think I return it to Senator Kidani. Senator Kidani. Thank you, Mr. President. There is a very prolific award-winning author and blogger named Neil Gaiman, who has made widely quoted statements about many things, among them librarians. Gaiman says, Google can bring you back a thousand answers. A librarian can bring you back the right one. <laughs> My colleague, Senator Taniguchi, has also been designated to introduce the first of two librarians who we will honor today. Senator Taniguchi. Thank you, um, Senator Kidani and Senator President. Um, on behalf of Senator Brickwood Galateria, who represents the 12th district, um, which I used to represent, I have the honor to introduce Jan Camilla, the 2015 Librarian of the Year. An avid reader and researcher, Jan grew up in Makali Mo'ili, grew up at the Makali Mo'ili library, Public Library. She later began her career in the Hawaii State Public Library System at the Hawaii State Library, next to the State Capitol, then moved to the Manoa Branch, uh, Manoa Branch Library. In 2012, Jan became the young adult librarian at Makali Mo'ili Public Library, where she performs her duties with noticeable enthusiasm she also teaches at the University of Hawaii in the Master of Library and Information Science program, is an avid genealogist and a member of the Hawaii Opera Theater Chorus. We'd like to congratulate Jan on her selection as the 2015 Public Librarian of the Year. Jan, would you please rise to be recognized?
Mr. President, I'd yield the floor to Senator Revere. Senator Revere. Thank you, Mr. President, members, guests in the gallery, and uh, guests on the floor here. It's my privilege today to uh, introduce to you um, Anna McCormick. Anna is a resident of the North Shore. She lives in Waialua, and this is on behalf of Senator, uh, the Senator from Wahiwa as well. He, uh, she works in Wahiwa, so on behalf of Senator De La Cruz and myself, I'd like to share a few remarks. Um, Anna grew up in, uh, in Eva Beach and then uh, was, uh, well, was born in Eva Beach, moved to the North Shore with a large family. She graduated from Wailua High School, began working as a uh, janitor in the Mililani Community Library back in 1984. Under the guidance of her boss at the time, he encouraged her to uh, apply for uh, another position, and in 1993, she became a library assistant three over in the Wahiwa Library, where she has served uh, admirably since. She became a um, library assistant four in uh, the late 90s, and um, she has a, a family. Her children have grown up and uh, served in the military. She continues to provide um, very personal, caring care and service for everybody that comes into the room. She firmly believes in the importance of treating people the way you want to be treated and to offer others with uh, others service with a smile no matter what the situation may be or difficult, she's there for people uh, with a good positive um, response and, and personality. So um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, introduce to you Anna McCormick, could you please rise? The, this year's Excellence in Service Member Award winner. Thank you. And I now yield the floor to Senator Kidani. Senator Kidani. Thank you, Senator Revere. Mr. President, for the past few years during Education Week, we have recognized students in Hawaii schools who have received awards from Prudential Insurance Company. The Prudential Spirit of Community Awards is the largest youth recognition program in the United States, honoring middle and high school students for outstanding service to others. Our Hawaii honorees come from four schools on three islands, Let's begin by calling on Senator De La Cruz. Senator De La Cruz. Thank you, Mr. President. The Prudential Spirit of Community Award was created in 1995 to honor middle and high school students who have demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to serving their communities and for outstanding service to others. Orrin Smith, named as one of the top two youth volunteers in the state of Hawaii for 2016, is a sixth grader in Honolulu School and represents the best of America's youth who demonstrate exemplary volunteer service. Realizing that residents of Hawaii are at risk for many natural disasters because the state is isolated, emergency help may not be available to reach the state. Oren arranged for a presentation on disaster preparedness at his school to educate his fellow students and, fam and their families on how to increase their chances of sur surviving a natural catastrophe. Oren researched disaster preparedness programs, contacted agencies involved in emergency planning, and obtained permission from school officials to hold a student assembly. He had a Coast Guard officer speak to students and prepared materials for the speaker to use and handouts for the students to take home. More than 155 families in Orange community were reached through students who attended the presentation and learned how to plan and stay safe in the, in the event of a natural disaster. Oren would like his project to continue and he is thinking of arranging for volunteer speakers to speak at other schools in the community. We congratulate Oren Smith on being named recipient of the Prudential Spirit of Community Award for 2016 for the state of Hawaii. Oren, if you could please stand. We definitely extend our best wishes for his continued success in all of his, in all of his endeavors. We also have with us today in the gallery Oren's mother, Lydia Smith, Bonnie Lee, Bonnie Lee is the Hana, Hanalani Lower School Principal. We also have George Evanson, Principal, Cynthia Chung, teacher at Our Savior Lutheran School, and Lieutenant Jun Junior Grade Krista Funk, U.S. Coast Guard. Please rise and be recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield to Senator Wakai. Senator Wakai. Thank you, Mr. President. Anna Kimata is a bright and compassionate sophomore at Punahou School. Anna, would you please rise? 
She is a resident of Nuuana, so on behalf of Senator Chun Oakland, I and Senator Chun Oakland honor her today. I met Anna when she was an incoming freshman at Punahou School after speaking to her summer school class in 2014. She expressed a desire to be an intern here at the state capitol. I usually don't take underclassmen into my office, but there is something very special about this young lady, and boy, was I right. Anna witnessed the complex issues of us grappling every day here at the Capitol. She was particularly interested in the plight of Micronesians in Hawaii, recognizing this immigrant group as our civil rights issue of today. Anna understood how their meager resources in their home islands forced many of them to emigrate here to Hawaii. She asked numerous questions and saw very few solutions. So instead of complaining, Anna focused on contributing to improvements. I introduced her to the president of Palau, who was touring the Punahou School campus a year ago. The president was able to see how resources are an important factor in successful educational outcomes. He talked about his lack of basic educational resources on his home island. As Punahou tears down and rebuilds their elementary school, Anna and I are working on taking those extra surplus materials down to Palau in the near future. But in the meantime, she identified the pressing need to get more resources uh, down to Palau, and she gathered 40 of her classmates to help gather extra library books. They boxed them up, and we took them to Palau, to the Palau's public school system for the improvement of their education system there. But Anna didn't stop there. That experience went so well that she volunteered to gather even more items. This time, she helped the people of Saipan, Last October, excuse me, last August, the folks in Saipan were devastated by super typhoon Sod Sodier with gusts up to 120 miles per hour. 100, excuse me, 350 homes were flattened in Saipan. Anna gathered toys and bought some of her own to brighten the holidays for those without much to cheer about. Sent those items via container to the island of Saipan. So you, everyone, you see the seeds of goodness have been planted into Anna. She has the ability to recruit those who will be her advocates. And today we congratulate her on being this year's Prudential Spirit Award winner. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> Joining Anna here today are her parents, Jason and Monica Yu. Kimata, would you please both stand to be recognized? Also with them is Mimi Kimata, Dr. George Kimata, and Mauhi, Mauhia Kimata, uh, all relatives Anna. Please all, all stand to be recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. I would now like to turn it back over to Senator Kidani. Senator Kidani. Thank you, Senator Wakai. Mr. President, on your behalf, I would like to acknowledge our third Prudential awardee, Brittany Akau from your island of Kauai. Unfortunately, Brittany and her family were unable to be with us this morning, but I, I would like to still acknowledge her work. Brittany is a 15-year-old sophomore student who organized a Gift of Aloha book drive she collected more than 100 books about Hawaii and arranged for them to be donated to a national book drive in Washington, D.C. The success of the Gift of Aloha Book Drive project encouraged Brittany to continue her public service efforts locally by visiting Kauai's Wilcox Elementary School, promoting the anti-bullying platform Brave, building respect and values for everyone, and distributing anti-bullying related books to elementary students in the community. She is currently working to collect books for other organizations, including Wilcox Memorial Hospital on Kauai and the First Step Homeless Shelter here on Oahu. Brittany's volunteer community work is an inspiration to her fellow students, and we acknowledge her compassion and initiative this morning. Mahalo, Brittany. Let's give her a hand. Senator, Senator Kidani, be, before you proceed, I would also note that last year we honored her sister who received the award as an eighth grader, so their parents and extended family are certainly doing a great job. Very nice. 
And I'd like to now turn the floor over to Senator Rudeman. Senator Rudeman. Thank you, Mr. President. The Senate of the State of Hawaii is proud to honor and recognize Philip Palmore, an esteemed resident of Mountain View and student at Keao High School, who has received national recognition for exemplary volunteer service by receiving a 2016 Prudential Spirit of Community Award. Would you please, ri please rise? <laughs> this prestigious award presented by Prudential Financial in partnership with the National Association of Secondary School Principals honors young volunteers across America who have demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to serving their communities. Philip Palmore earned this award by giving generously of his time and energy to designing and leading a project to build an ADA compliant outdoor walkway and garden for the residents of the Gila Medical Center Extended Care Facility. Upon discovery that residents were not permitted to go outdoors due to environmental safety concerns, he designed a figure eight walkway with two seating areas, one nestled in a raised flower bed and another at the end of the walkway shaded by a pergola. Throughout the project, Philip Palmore embodied leadership skills including communication, organization, and relationship building. By creating a welcoming outdoor area, this project improves residents' quality of life by fostering family and community interaction. The success of the state of Hawaii, the strength of our communities, and the overall vitality of American society depend in great measure upon the dedication of young people like Philip Palmore, who use their considerable talents and resources to serve others. The Senate of the state of Hawaii hereby congratulates and honors, honors Philip Palmore as a recipient of the Prudential Spirit of Community Award, recognizing his outstanding record of volunteer service, peer leadership, and community spirit, and extends best wishes for his continued success in all future endeavors. Please welcome once again, Philip Palmore from KL High School. And last, also acknowledged in the gallery, we have Philip's father, Stephen Palmore. Would you please rise, sir? Thank you. And may I now return the floor to Senator Kidani. Senator Kidani. Thank you, Senator Ruderman. Mr. President, before we move on from the Prudential Awards, I would like to acknowledge one more individual who has long been associated with this program. With this morning's student honorees on the floor is Prudential's Vice President for Government Affairs, Mr. Th Todd Thacker. Todd, will you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> also in the gallery is his assistant from Prudential, Dana Culbertson. Dana? Thank you. Thank you both for your work to identify these outstanding young men and women for us each year. Mr. President, I certainly do not mean to diminish the accomplishments of any of our previous honorees over the past few days, but I kind of feel like we have saved the best for last. I now call on Senator Nishihara to introduce Hawaii's Milken Educator for 2016. Senator Nishihara. Thank you, Senator President, and thank you, uh, Senator Kidani. Uh, you know, I was a far, I was a, I did teach at Waipoa High School for one year, <laughs> so as a former school administrator, I'm keenly aware of the critical importance of visionary leadership among the core of teachers on our campuses. There is none finer than the gentleman who is joins us on the floor today, Michael Sana. So, Michael, could you please rise? Thank you. <laughs> Michael is the chairman of the Waipahu High School Science Department and has given students opportunities to conduct and publish authentic scientific research. His students have worked at the Lawrence Livermore facility, um, National Laboratory, which is a federal research facility in California and at the Rutgers University. 
He endeavors to create a learning environment that is creative and fun, a place where students will become excited about learning and come to understand the rewards of perseverance and hard work. Michael's passion for teaching and mentoring has helped dozens of students begin their college careers with a desire for rigorous scientific research. His hard work has helped to make Waipahu High's science curriculum a bright spot in the department. He is wholly dedicated to the success of his students through nurturing their self-confidence as well as pushing his students to strive for excellence. So the Senate commends and congratulates Michael for his dedication and devotion to the children of Hawaii and being selected as the recipient of the prestigious 2015-2016 Milken Educator Award. And can we recognize him again? Thank you. So thank, so thank you, Mr. President. And before I return it uh, back to the floor, I'd like to also recognize up in the gallery um, Stephen Schatz, the deputy of uh, DOE. I return the floor. I'll return the floor to Senator Kidani. Thank you. Senator Kidani. Thank you, Senator Ishihara. Uh, Mr. President, I believe there are fans of uh, Michael Sana's in the gallery. Could you uh, rise? I think his parents are here and his family. Thank you. And I believe uh, Principal Keith Hayashi was also here, but I, I think he had to leave. Thank you very much. Mr. President, colleagues, the Hawaii Public Charter Schools Network will be making the rounds at the Capitol today. Earlier this morning, the network had displays and an informational program set up upstairs. In the, in the gallery this morning, I'd like to introduce some of our charter school guests, charter school directors and their schools, Heather Nakakura from West Hawaii's Exploratory Academy. Please stand. Thank you. <laughs> Kalei Makamai Kauvai, Kauai Kini Charter School. <laughs> Kamaka Gunderson, Keana La Ahana Charter School. <laughs> Daniel Kaluya, Nawai Ola Charter School. Usha Kotner, Kona Pacific Charter School. <laughs> Pat Brandt, board member, Halal Kumana Charter School. <laughs> Thank you to the Charter School Network for helping us this morning uh, with their Education Week. Mr. President, that concludes our Education Week recognition for today. Day after tomorrow, we will meet teachers and administrators from the Teach for America program that this year has 280 teachers in Hawaii classrooms. We'll hear more about that on Wednesday. Thank you, Mr. President and colleagues. Thank you. Do we have any further introductions? Senator Galateria. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to take, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity One more time. Thank you, Senator Kidani. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, recognize our Makali Mo'ili'ili Neighborhood Board Chair, who is here, no doubt, to uh, celebrate with our Librarian of the Year, Jan Kamia, who is our Makali Mo'ili'ili Librarian of the Year. Uh, Mr. Ron Lockwood, Chair Ron Lockwood, thank you for coming and joining us today. Ron, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Galateria, based on the cheering, I think there's more than just the chair of the neighborhood board supporting her. Further introductions. If there are no objections, then the chair will call for a short recess for the purpose of meeting our honored guests. Mem members of the Senate, please be seated.
The Senate, please come back to order. Madam Clerk. Governor's message number 15 transmits changes to the governor's fiscal year 2017 supplemental budget request for various departments. File. On pages 2 through 10, Standing Committee report numbers 2901 to 2938 for adoption. Senator Green. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of SCRs 2901 to 2938. Senator Sloan. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, any objections? If not, the motion is carried. On page 11, advise and consent. If there are no objections from the members, we will be taking advice and consent on consent. Standing committee report number 2899 on governor's message number 636 for advice and consent for adoption. Is there any discussion? Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm pleased to stand in strong support of governor's message 636 and ask my colleagues to advise and consent on uh, Ramallah Sue Radcliffe for the SHIPTA administrator. I've known Ms. Radcliffe for many years. She used to live on Maui for a time. And I know that she has extensive background in a variety of um, healthcare system settings. In addition to being an able administrator, she inspires her staff to look at SHIPTA's statutory authority in a new and different light to enable it to really help out with our healthcare transformation efforts and other planning efforts that go on uh, in our communities in the healthcare arena. She's dedicated uh, to really excelling to the highest, and I think her first term as our administrator of SHIPTA has proved to be most successful. And it's kind of fitting that we are confirming her on the same day that we have been honoring a number of uh, exemplary public school um, students and teachers and librarians because she is indeed a proud public school graduate, um, both at the elementary Kaiser High School as well as UH Manoa. So, Mr. President, it's with great um, pleasure that I ask my colleagues to join me in advising and consenting to this nomination. Mahalo. Is there further discussion? If not, do we have unanimous consent? 21 ayes. Thank you. The nominee for respective governor's message has been confirmed. Mr. President. Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. May I make a late introduction? Please proceed. Uh, would our newly appointed and confirmed director or administrator for uh, the State Health Planning and Development Administration. Please rise to be recognized, Rami. <laughs> and I'd also like to acknowledge her very proud father, John Radcliffe, who is known to all of us. <laughs> and uh, her very uh, dear friend, I would describe as her significant other, David Langille, in the audience as well. And there are other supporters, and thank you all for joining uh, to uh, lend your support to Rami. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Madam Clerk. Adoption of resolutions, Standing Committee Report Numbers 2897 and 2898 for adoption. Senator Green. Uh, Mr. President, I move for the adoption of said standing committee reports. Senator Sloan. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Any objections? If not, the motion is carried. Said resolutions have been adopted. Referrals and re-referrals. Referrals and re-referrals are made in accordance with the supplemental order of the day, which may be distributed to your offices later this afternoon. No further business, Mr. President. Are there any announcements? It's Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. Just wanted to remind all our colleagues that uh, it's coming up on the delivery date for our Easter baskets that uh, the Women's Caucus is asking all of us to participate in. They will be going to the Institute for Human Services uh, for the women and children that are there. So uh, the 24th, uh, we'll, we will, this Thursday, yes, we will be uh, providing them about two, no, I think we're doing them early maybe 10 o'clock in the morning. So uh, you're welcome to deliver them to my office prior to that time and we'll make sure that they are all presented. And we have um, a guest from the house side, I believe, who will be serving as our Easter Bunny. So we'll be uh, 
uh, down in the rotunda on Thursday morning, and you're all welcome to come and join us. Mahalo. Thank you. Further announcements? Senator Keith Agaron. Thank you, Mr. President. I request a waiver of the notice requirement pursuant to Senate Rule 21 in order to hold a hearing in House Bill 2015, House Draft 1. This measure proposes a number of changes to the Employer Union Health Benefits Trust Fund. Um, your committees on Judiciary and Labor and Government Operations are unable to schedule this earlier due to time constraints, and we would need to hear this bill uh, to make the second lateral deadline. Waiver is granted. Thank you, Mr. President. Your committees on Judiciary and Labor and Government Operations will hold a public hearing on this bill tomorrow at 1.17 p.m. in Conference Room 414. The notice will be filed in the clerk's office this afternoon. Thank you. Are there any further announcements? Not the chair has one. I, I know each one of us here in the chambers extend our best wishes, condolences, and prayers to Senator Kim and her family. Uh, Senator Green. Mr. President, I move the Senate stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. Senator Sloan. And God bless the community spirit of giving. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. If there are no objections from the members, the Senate will stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow.